In this video, Byron Taylor from Assure Quality is going to take you through the electronic resources that are available to beekeepers in New Zealand. This is something very new and um, I'm sure beekeepers um, back 50 years would have loved to have a system like this. It makes a lot of the compliance so much easier and finding out information is much easier than it used to be as well. Once beekeepers are registered, they can actually access their own information that's, that's held on the apiary database. And they do this via the web using a program called APWeb. Now APWeb allows beekeepers to register new apiary sites, delete apiary sites that they no longer use, report AFB, and also update any existing information that they have on the database. The data is password protected, so you will need a password to access APWeb. Let me show you how it works. Right, so this is the login page and it will prompt you for a password. Now if you've forgotten your password, you will need to talk to an Assure Quality Apiary Registrar to be given a new one. You see there, once you've logged in, you're going to come to a summary screen, which has all your beekeeper information, and there's a navigation bar down the side here. Off the navigation bar, you can change your password if you want to. You can look at an apiary report, which gives you a list of each apiary that you have registered and you can burrow in to each apiary and make changes to it if necessary. Additionally, up the top here there's an option to report disease, so if you find AFB on that apiary you can report the disease via the APWeb system. Okay, in addition to altering existing information you can also come back to the summary screen here and use the Add Apiary button here if you want to register a new apiary. Or alternatively, if you have an apiary that you no longer use, you can simply use the tick box over here and click on the Delete button there, and that apiary will disappear. Though given this is my only apiary, I'm not going to delete it. Okay, so let me just go back here now and show you a little bit extra on the apiary, and that is the mapping function. So over here on the right, you'll see this is the uh, geolocation of the apiary site and as we mentioned in the past this is really helpful um, for us when we're advising you of what's going on in the area with respect to outbreaks and the like. But let me show you the map here. So you can just check to make sure that information is correct. And you'll see here I'm giving away some details about my apiary here. But you'll notice here that I've got an apiary registered right on the Roku Research Centre there. The great thing about the APWeb system is it just gives beekeepers that ability to be able to keep the information on the database up to date. It means that they're going to get advised in a more timely fashion about any AFB that's found in the area, and it's just going to mean perhaps that they can do things with less bother. It's easier to report disease via APWeb than to try and phone up a registrar perhaps. It's easier to register and deregister apiaries, um, and that's, that's ultimately what we're going for making the whole process easy for the beekeeping community. So as you can see, these electronic resources are a really great tool for um, managing that relationship between American Fowl Brood, the management agency, and the beekeeper. And it's easy too. And there's, you can, if you want to, you can contact Assure Quality by a whole range of methods now, via the website, via email, or if you want to, you can just ring them up.